Hi guys and welcome to Getty G Reviews and to this review of Luke Cage Season 1. So guys, I saw Luke Cage the whole episode, like 13 episodes. Man, I can't wait this to end. Wow, but don't get me wrong, I mean the whole show was overall very good. Uh, but it just was like, you know, Netflix has this very sophisticated vibe about it and, you know, Daredevil and Jessica Jones also have this very artistic and, you know, intelligent vibe to it, but uh, at the end of the day, some moments of those TV shows get really slow, quiet and really boring. And Luke Cage is not an exception. I mean, the whole you know show from start to finish was very quiet, very slow. Uh, you know, there are some very cool moments. Uh, there's some very deep moments. Uh, there's a lot of things about the culture and, and all of those stuff. I mean, I have no idea how exactly is in the comic books, but it's a slow burn. I mean, this whole thing is a slow burn. So that could be a good thing and a bad thing in a comic book movie or whatever show in this case. I'm overall pleased with this. I really like it overall, but I really wanted to get to the point and finally see what happens, to see where all those characters were going. And some of the moments really, I, I was like, what the heck is going on now here? I mean, you know, with Misty Knight, how she reacted to be held on a gunpoint. I thought, you know, that that character was stronger. Of course, she dealt with that after this, but there are some little, little things. My mind is like jumping, uh, you know, from top to finish, uh, because this show has, you know, a lot of stuff in it. First, the two villains, Cottonmouth or whatever his name was. He was over the top, uh, you know, kind of like cliche a bit. Uh, and in the same time, you know, they made this such a big deal of building him up and uh, of course they killed him, uh, you know, uh, his cousin, which I didn't expect. So that was very interesting moment because I didn't expect that at all. And then the other villain came and he was so over the top as well, I mean, even more. And I really didn't like the fact that they found some kind of a way, you know, for Luke Cage have a physical weakness i just hate physical weaknesses in superheroes but you know what to do uh, and i really hope that luke cage gets his costume in the next season because of course no costume for jessica jones and no costume for luke cage only the hoodie with the yellow hood you know inside inside of the hood so that's what we get basically you know those shows are very strange because they're a lot more like uh, you know, some political drama, some kind of a CSI crime, you know, type of a show. And yeah, that they're more about the drama. And here it was more about the culture than it was about, you know, the, you know, the superhero thing and the superhero factor. I know this is just the style of the show. I mean, this is what they do. Uh, I get it, I get it, but you know, it's not something that I'm used to. Those shows feel a lot more like, you know, political and a lot smaller, you can say, smaller, on a smaller scale, and very concentrated and like constructed as a drama than superhero movie. And I appreciate, you know, the that Netflix wants to incorporate and create this um, sophistication about the shows but at the same time it's kind of too much and it's kind of too uh, on the nose sometimes this is at least how i feel because you're watching and conversations are going and going and going and going and you have like a ton more conversations that are happening all the time and like two percent action of all of this so uh, those shows you can wait to see the next episodes but in the same time you're having too much of it. Basically, it's not as fun as I prefer to be, where, you know, the DC shows are less uh, sophisticated, but they're, you know, more like superhero shows. And Marvel Netflix shows are a lot more about being extremely, extremely serious, get thrown into that atmosphere without any color, 
Like, just look at Daredevil, look at, you know, Jessica Jones, and look at this show. Uh, Daredevil has, like, um, you can say, uh, a little bit of green and gray and, you know, red, a blend, like, all over it and it's very weak uh, in terms of uh, you know um, bright colors it's just not colorful at all and then you look at Jessica Jones that has again like a gray maybe a bit of blue and purple you know vibe to it of course because of the villain but it's just you know the same type of colors the same the same vibe and you look at Luke Cage that has you know green uh, vibe to it and color palette to it, uh, gray again and yellow. They are supposed to be in the same universe, of course, but my point is that overall those shows are not colorful at all, they are not like screaming superheroes or something, uh, they are a lot more slow paced, I mean overall that makes them in the same way very interesting, you're getting something that we never, you know, did got before that, before those Netflix shows, we're getting something unique, we're getting something that we can't wait to watch and can't wait for the next season, but at the same time we're getting something very condensed and kind of boring overall. So at the same time I love it, at the same time like this is going to be long, sitting on the chair for 50 minutes and watching that and it's going to be very boring at, at times and i am invested all the time it's not boring like boring i'm not invested i i'm not listening to what they're saying but i mean that i'm not invested as uh, i i would be uh if i'm watching like 45 minutes of episode of supergirl or something i'll be a lot more invested in that just because it has that superhero vibe that i need you know from those shows they don't care even to give them costumes for 13 episodes i mean understand i understand that it's about character development uh yeah but it's a tv show they're eventually going to develop all the characters and i don't see why they have to be you know 13 episodes because i don't really see that budget you know if those shows are on a high budget they can afford to make more episodes they basically film in the same locations uh, like the half of the show was in that club that was con constantly blown up had bullet holes in it had broken glass in it but like half of the show is in that club in that same place and you know part of streets part of prisons that they show that really just small small parts so I can't imagine that this would have cost a lot of money to make overall. I'm not really sure, but compared to special effects that we see on Arrow and uh, on Flash and Supergirl, you know, those Netflix shows overall looks like they're trying to preserve every little special effect that they can and just not show it as much as possible. Uh, although the fight scenes were very good, but also they are very brief, unless of course the last fight scene. Uh, which was very long and yeah, that was good so guys what I'm basically trying to say is that like you know Jessica Jones and Daredevil Luke Cage it's a very good Netflix show no doubt about it in the same time I'm annoyed by the style of it by the lack of color by the very long dialogue and scenes uh, that is you know supposed to be like substitutes for the action scenes I mean it, it's just like a replacement of that. I forgot about the music. You know, Daredevil and Jessica Jones have amazing music intros, uh, but this here, through whole through the whole show, because of the club and the style of the places that you know, Luke Cage uh, is taking place, it's just yeah, like wonderful music, guys. Wonderful music, really awesome. I really want to get that soundtrack now. So guys, overall, from the scale of 1 to 10, as a superhero show, because I have to treat it like one, uh, I think Luke Cage is definitely worth um, an 8, but that's it, an 8 uh, out of 10. It needs more of the superhero factor and less of the speeches and very long dialogue. And just, the, just the way how I feel, just my taste. But let me know what you think in the comments. Thank you very much for watching guys. Until next time with Gary G Reviews.